describe the terms crest, trough, compression and rarefaction. The crest is the maximum value which is above the equilibrium line. The trough is the minimum value which is below the equilibrium line. The distance between the equilibrium line and the crest is the amplitude. Compression is when the particles are closely packed together. This is where they would have the maximum density. Rarefaction is where the particles are farthest apart. This is where we would have the minimum density. Here we have a graphic of a sideways drum where the skin is vibrating. On the diagram at the top, the drum skin is displaced to the right and that causes a point of maximum density or compression. To the right of this, we have an area of low density or rarefaction. On the bottom diagram, the drum skin is displaced to the left. This causes an area of low pressure or rarefaction, followed by an area to the right of high pressure or compression. Here we can express graphically how the density varies as the wave passes through the medium. The compression is the area of maximum density. Rarefaction is an area of lowest density. Note that this is a graph of density against distance, not displacement against distance. We have to define the following terms. The displacement is the distance that an oscillating system is from its equilibrium position. The amplitude is the maximum displacement of an oscillating system from its equilibrium position. The frequency in hertz is the number of complete oscillations made by a system per second, or it can be the number of oscillations made per second by the wave source. The period in seconds is the time taken to complete one single oscillation or the time taken for the source of the wave to make one oscillation. The wave speed is the distance the wave travels per second. Intensity. This is the power output per unit area and is related to the amplitude squared. Displacement distance and displacement time graphs. The first graph is a displacement position graph. The horizontal axis is the position along the, along the wave. We can see the displacement at different positions along the wave. The distance between the part of one wave and the corresponding part of the next wave is the wavelength. For example, the distance from one peak to the next peak is one wavelength. The second graph is a displacement against time graph. The horizontal axis is time. The time interval between the passing of one peak and the arrival of the next peak is called the time period. Here you can see how the areas of rarefaction and compression are propagated from left to right through the medium. Notice that any particles only oscillate by a small amount from side to side. This graphic illustrates nicely how the compression and rarefaction vary through the medium. Different particles in the medium are represented by different colours which oscillate around their own equilibrium point. The dots across the bottom represent the equilibrium positions of each of the coloured lines. For example, the green line is very close to the equilibrium position. The blue line here is displaced far to the right. The red line is also displaced to the right. The yellow line is displaced to the left. The lilac line is also displaced to the left. Notice that there is an area of high density by the red and yellow because the lines have moved towards that point. Also notice that where we have an area of low density or rarefaction, which is by the green, the lines have moved away from that area. Here at the top we have a displacement time graph. We can see where the areas of compression and rarefaction correspond to the curve on the displacement time graph. On the graph, zero displacement corresponds to the centre of compression and the center of rarefaction. If we take the first compression, here we can see that the particles that are on the left of the maximum compression must be displaced to the right. Also, the particles that are on the right of the maximum compression must be displaced to the left to cause the compression. On the top graph, 
A displacement to the right is given as positive. A displacement to the left is given as negative. The red line is the point of least density or rarefaction. The particles to the left are displaced to the left, away from this point and towards the compression. The particles to the right are displaced to the right, away from this point and towards the next compression. This is consistent with the top graph. To the left of the rarefaction is negative, so the particles are displaced to the left. To the right of the rarefaction is positive, so those are displaced to the right. The next broken black line shows another area of compression. The particles to the left are displaced to the right, and the particles to the right are displaced to the left, causing that compression. And this is how compression and rarefaction can be represented graphically.